What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modern X, and I'm pretty excited to announce that we finally have a rooted version of the latest over-the-air update for the Verizon Galaxy S6. Now this comes to us thanks to Trailblazer101 who has developed a root method, uh, or he's basically he's pulled apart the update and repatched it together so that it would be rooted and so that we could keep root through the update. Now one thing that this update brings, it brings a lot of new bug fixes. Uh, but the main thing it's supposed to bring is a fix to the accelerometer. Now, it's not going to repair the accelerometer. It's just going to use different sensors to sense when you're trying to rotate the device. So auto-rotation should begin to work again, not because the accelerometer is fixed, but because there's an update changing the sensors that are used. So basically what you want to do here is go ahead and scroll down to uh, where it says Downloads, and you'll grab the uh, either the Odex version or the... DODX version of the ROM itself. We're going to flash this ROM via flash fire on the phone itself and then we're going to boot directly into download mode and flash uh, this file, this Odin package via Odin. So it's actually a two-part installation. We're installing the ROM itself then we're installing the Odin package. Okay so once you have the ROM downloaded to your phone and the Odin package downloaded to your PC we can move forward. Okay, so we're going to flash that ROM in Flash Fire. I'll be sure to include a link in the description. Uh, you will have to become a part of the beta community, and then once you are part of the beta community, you can become a beta tester, then you'll be able to download it. Okay, so you'll open up the Flash Fire application. Grant it root access. Agree to the disclaimer. Okay, you'll go into Actions. Add an action. Go to Flash a Zip. Okay, go to your download folder. Grab the Trailblazer. Okay, and then go ahead and click the checkbox. Okay, go to this Reboot tab here. And select Download because we're going to boot directly into download mode and flash that Odin package. Click the check mark and go ahead and click the flash button. So this can take a minute or two for flash fire to load. A black screen may happen twice for up to half a minute. So we'll go ahead and say OK. It's going to go ahead and flash that ROM, and when it's finished flashing the ROM, it'll go ahead and boot us into download mode. Okay, so after several minutes of loading, it's going to go ahead and launch Flash Fire, and then it will begin to flash the ROM. So just give it a few minutes to do its thing here. Okay, so when it's finished flashing, it's going to go ahead and reboot us into download mode. Okay, so now that we are in download mode, what we'll do is go ahead and plug this into our PC. Okay, and then we'll launch Odin. Okay, so you want to make sure that your device is uh, that your device is seen here. And then you'll go to AP, select AP, and then grab that Trailblazer Flash Me file. Go ahead and open that. Okay, when you see that it's populated here, you'll go ahead and press the Start button, and that'll take just a few seconds to flash. You'll see the progress there, and then you'll also see progress on your device screen there. Okay, so once you get a pass, your device will begin to reboot. So it should go ahead and reboot into the over-the-air uh, updated version of Android, and you should have root. Okay, so it's booting up. It says Android is upgrading. Uh, so looks like a change has been made. We didn't have to wipe our data or anything like that, which was a big plus. So just kind of let it do its thing here, and then we'll see what version we're on, and also we'll make sure that we are rooted. Alright guys, well now that we're all booted up, you guys can see it didn't wipe my data or anything. We're going to go ahead into the settings. And about phone. Okay, we'll see here that we're running 5.0.2 and we're running the new uh, baseband version AOE2. Build number AOE2. So we are running the new version of Android. We'll go ahead and check for root. Open up the root checker. Verify root access. Okay, it's asking us for super user permission, so we are rooted on the very latest version of Android Verizon Galaxy S6 Edge. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.